we now discuss the solution of a problem from the section linear algebra the problem is related to the kernel of a transmission t and the kernel of t compose t this question has appeared in the csir national eligibility test held on 16th september 2022 and this question is from the section c the given problem is let capital a be an n by n matrix with entries in the set of real numbers such that a and a square are of the same rank a and a square are of the same rank consider the linear transformation t from r power n to itself defined by t operating on v is equal to a v for all v belongs to r power n which of the following statements are true we are given four statements option a option 1 the kernels of t and t compose t are the same option 2 the kernels of t and t compose t are of equal dimension option 3 a must be invertible option 4 i n plus a must be invertible where i n denotes the n by n identity matrix we have a is an n by n matrix with uh, entries coming from the set of real numbers and a is given such that a and a square have the same same rank that means the rank of a is equal to rank of a square consider the linear transformation t from r power n to itself defined by t operating on v is equal to the matrix a multiplied by v for all v belongs to r power n then which of the following statements are true are true and this question is from section c and it can have more than one option and you have to spot all the options that are true we now discuss the solution of the problem in detail we have capital a an n by n matrix with entries from r so a belongs to m suffix n r agreed and rank of a is equal to rank of a square now we consider options 3 and options 4 option 3 says a must be invertible option 4 says i n plus a must be invertible we'll discuss which of them are true which of them are not true we give a counter example let a is equal to the 2 by 2 matrix whose first row is minus 1 0 second row is 0 0 then then a square will be the matrix 1 0 0 0 first row 1 0 second row 0 0 and observe that the the rank of a is 1 and the rank of a square is also 1 agreed now determinant of a is the determinant of first row minus 1 0 second row 0 0 the determinant of a is 0 it means a is singular therefore a is not invertible therefore the option 3 is not true with the same matrix a is equal to minus 1 0 0 0 we go to i plus a so i2 plus a i2 is determinant of 1 0 0 1 plus a we have written 
minus 1 0 0 0. Determinant of the matrix when you add it is 0 0 0 1 the determinant is 0 therefore i2 plus a is singular therefore i2 plus a is not invertible. Thus the option 4 is not true. So the options 3 and 4 are not true. We move to the option 2 in the next slide. So option 2. The kernels of T and T compose T are equal are of equal dimension. We prove that this is true. So we have the matrix A, n by n matrix A with the real entries and rank of A is equal to rank of A square. We have the linear transformation T from R power n to R power n defined by T of V is equal to the matrix A multiplied by V for all V belongs to R power n. When T is a linear transformation, T compose T is also a linear transformation from R power n to R power n and its action is, is, is given as T compose T operating on Y is equal to T of T operating on T of V that is equal to T of T of V is A V capital A V. T of A V is A A V that is A square V. So that is the T compose T. Right. Now we consider the kernel of T. The kernel of T is the set of all those elements V belongs to R power N the domain space such that T of V is the zero vector. The zero vector belongs to R power N. Agreed. Now RT, the range of T, capital RT is the range of T, is the set of all images that is T of V, V belongs to R power N. That's equal to T of V, is the set of all A V, V belongs to R power N. And this is precisely the range of the matrix A. So that's what we have proved. The range of T is equal to the range of the matrix A. Similarly, the range of T compose T is the range of A square. So, right. Now, now the rank of T, smaller of T is rank of T, is the dimension of range of T that is equal to dimension of range of A because the range of T is equal to range of A. So the dimension of range of A is the rank of A. Similarly, rank of T compose T is the rank of A square. Agreed. Now, the dimension of care of T because we are, we want to see the, whether T and T compose T have the same dimension or not. For that we consider the dimension of care of T, the kernel of T. The dimension of kernel of T is the nullity of T. The nullity of T is equal to the dimension of the domain space minus rank of T. The dimension of the domain space is n, n minus rank of T by rank nullity theorem. But uh, the rank of T is rank is equal to rank of A. Rank of T is equal to rank of A. Yes. But rank of A is equal to rank of A square. It is given. Rank of A is equal to rank of A square. So N minus rank of A square is equal to N minus rank of A square is same as rank of T compose T. And uh, n minus rank of T compose T is the nullity of T compose T because T compose T from R power n to R power n and this is the dimension of uh, the domain, domain space minus rank of T compose T. So this is nullity of T compose T by rank nullity theorem applied to T compose T. Right. And that is equal to the nullity of T compose T is the dimension of the kernel of T compose T. Thus, the kernel of T and the kernel of T compose T have the same dimension. So, proving the option 2 is uh, true. Agreed. Now, we move to the next option, the option 1. 
option 1. We have already proved option 2 is true. We consider option 1. The kernels of T and T compose T are same. So far we know the, the, their kernels have the same dimension. But we want to prove that the kernels of T and T compose T are equal. We have the dimension of care of T is equal to the dimension of care of T compose T. That's what we have precisely proved in the option 2 in the last slide. Now, we take an arbitrary element V belongs to care T. This means T of V is 0 by definition. Operate T on both sides, T of T compose T of T V is equal to T of 0. T of 0 is 0. T of T V is T compose T operating on V is equal to T of 0 is 0. That means V belongs to the kernel of T compose T. So every element of care T we have shown that it is element it is also an element of care of T compose T. Therefore, the care of T, the kernel of T is, is a subset of care of T compose T. Equality can also be that. Is a subset of, is a subset of this. What is that we want to prove? The kernel of T and the kernel of T compose T are equal. So in this is contained in and is also equal. So suppose, suppose care of T is not equal to care of T compose T. The kernel of T is not equal to the kernel of T compose T. Then kernel of T is a proper subspace, is a proper subspace of kernel of T compose T. When kernel of T is a proper sub, subspace of kernel of T compose T, the dimension of care of T must be strictly less than the dimension of care of T compose T. And this we get a contradiction. Why? The dimensions are equal. The dimensions are equal. But if you say they are not, the care of T is not equal to the care of T compose T, then you arrive at a contradiction. Therefore, the, ker the kernel of T must be equal to the kernel of T compose T. So there's the kernels of T and T compose T are same. Thus we have proved the option 1. So the option 1 is true. So option 3 and option 4 were not true. And option 2 is true. Now we have proved option 1 is true. Therefore the answer to this question is options 1 and 2. That is the detailed discussion of the solution of the problem on the kernels of T and T compose T from the section linear algebra and I am sure that you have understood the solution of this problem and I wish you all the best. Thank you.